Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Last time we beat the folding screen monkeys and uh, got, uh, well, our big guy over here right back where he belongs with the children he can't really see. Uh, last time I didn't really notice, but there's a lot of ash here as well. At least I'm assuming it's ash. Could be snow as well, but I feel like the texture kind of indicates that it is ash and not snow, especially the heaps he's sitting on. But uh, let's go back, because there's no sculptor I sculptor's idol here, so I need to go back through this uh, beam of light, so leave the hall of Halls of Illusion. And get back to the real world. Almost we'd say the waking world. I'm just gonna have a little chat with the little girl here. Maybe she has something new to say now that we finished uh, that quest line. Shinobi of the Divine Air, you are welcome here. Okay, I could request more rights, but that gives us a very good indication of what to do next. Farewell, Shinobi of the Divine Air. May the harvest be plentiful wherever your path may lead. So she gave us some rice, and we know that the old woman near Sampao Temple has asked us about rice as well. So let's head back there. So there we go. Cleared out this entire area again, and I'm really loving those phantom kunai. But up there is supposed to be that old woman. Everyone here is dead now. Kind of lost one resurrection over it and two gourds, but never mind, I cleared it out. Still needed to get a bit of a refresh because it's been over a week since I've played this. Uh, I had a lot of other stuff to do since I became a Gwent partner, but she doesn't look good, by the way. You have the dragon rot. Divine child. Okay. So I'm actually wondering. That's not a problem. I have multiple ways of cutting and cutting that out. Force yourself to speak. I don't think she can die. I don't know which way. Well, now that the day has passed a bit further, because I feel like the levels are changing. I know I was a bit of a doofus. I didn't realize that the snow clearly started when we killed Genichiro. But this place also has changed in tone, so the sun is going down. Oh, look at this guy going down the stairs. So I'm gonna have to get rid of the dragon rod really quickly. We've, uh, oh god, acquired along the way. There we go. So let's head towards the sculptor's idol over here. I shouldn't rest, because otherwise all my work of the past 10 minutes is gonna be gone. But let's just sit down at it. I'm just gonna quickly take a look. So she is called the Fateful One. Keeping one's fate, even when driven mad, allows one to see certain things. Thank heavens. Because these things also give us lore, actually. And then the drunken mob. Yeah, okay. So let's just sit down. And we can do dragon rod restoration with that. There we go. Dragon rod healed. And that should allow us to talk to her again. So luckily the enemies didn't come back. So uh, there we go. Fruits of the serpent, yes, there are two kinds. Let's refresh this One as well. Is fresh, the other is dried. It's over there. The fresh one is over there. Over the cliff, through the hole. That's where you'll find it. Fresh? What are you talking about? Hmm? Something troubling you? Rice for me, that's the way. <laughs> Rice, I say. If something troubles your mind, bless me with rice anytime. So, actually, I didn't notice that before because of the lighting, but there is another snake skin over there. Which is interesting. So, I think, yeah, once we manage to get over onto that cliff, we can go to that branch and then grapple over to that branch. And there's another snake skin, even. There's two snake skins over there. So, definitely where the white serpent is. So, let's give her the rice. Here's some rice. Oh, there's no doubt. This is the divine child's rice. Oh, thank heavens. Thank heavens. Tell me, what do you see? Mm. If 
If it's fresh fruit you want, fly a kite. Wind up a bit, fly a kite. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. If it's fresh fruit you want, fly a kite. Wind the puppet. Fly a kite. Hmm. Wind the puppet. I'm not sure what she's talking about. Well, we kind of know what she's talking about, although we still don't know because it's that thing over there. But I still don't know how I can lock the kite in place. Because we knew that that was the way to go there, but... How... Because we need to wind it, so that's the first step. Maybe something has changed. I'm gonna say, fuck this shit, and just go with it. So, murdering ourselves some monks. Didn't want to warp there, because I want to keep everybody alive. Uh, well, dead. I don't want to bring them back to life. Because I don't want to lose uh, my progress in that area, so the enemies should stay dead. Wait, oh, Black Hat Badger. Hello, buddy. Huh. So you made it out this way too. You? <laughs> like I said, loose ends. What are you doing here? Over there. I need to cross to the other side of the cliff, but I'm fresh out of ideas. There's no way to cross? If you had a shinobi kite, that'd do it. But it ain't easy keeping the kite afloat. Especially when you're an amateur with cargo to spare. I see. There's an assassin below the cliff who handles the kites. If he could keep that thing in the air, it'd be risky, but it just might work. The thing is, he won't take a bribe. I ask you, what's the world coming to? Okay, so that makes sense. So the assassin down there, I've killed him every time, but if he could keep the kite afloat, we would be able to cross, as would he, apparently. You see over there? I'm trying to figure a way to get to the other side. There's this little tyke below the cliff who flies the kites. <laughs> if he could keep that thing in the air, it'd be risky, but it just might work. I have an idea. The old lady said, wind the puppet, fly a kite. One of those old crones? Well, you can't take what they say lightly. In fact, there could be some shinobi technique, making others do your dirty work. Mind control, you know? Oh, Maybe and we have that. About. We have that. We have that. Oh my god, this game is amazing. So, the puppeteer Ninjutsu, that's why she said wind the puppet. It's not wind the crank, it's winding the puppet. Because we're going to turn him into a puppet. That is genius. Oh my god, this game is amazing. And the clues are just enough, but I can imagine that you're just not realizing that, what you need to do. So let's just jump. We're getting a lot of lump of fat wax, by the way. Uh, so it's got to be careful. There's... I think there were two, even. I think there was one in the back as well, but... I don't see anyone over here. So let's just crouch. Because I need to do this with a death blow. So there we go. There we go. There we go. And then... Assassinate him. And then I need to do it again. There we go. Could you, could you please wind the kite? Oh, there we go. There he goes. He's doing it. Uh, do I now need to return? How long does that last? How long does that last? I'm just gonna talk to Badger again. Badger, I did it. <laughs> the puppeteer technique, huh? First time I've seen it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. <laughs> Thought I'd finally see you crack a smile. And with that, I can attend to my personal matters. Thanks, pal. Okay, so we have thirded his quest line as well. Because uh, in true Dark Souls fashion, I want to just complete most of the uh, NPC quest lines. As far as I can without the knowledge I need. So the more special... Quests I probably miss out on, but this this seems like we're still heading in the right direction. There's two monks over there and they saw me. I don't care. So, 
back at the old lady. Where is the kite is over there? So we need to head on top of the tree, as we thought before. Like this, like this. And now here. Ooh, that was a grappling point. Okay. So from here, grapple. And that actually lands us here. Look at that. Finally made it to the other side. Snap seats. Which are never a good sign because that means... Um, well, yeah, that means creepy ghost people. So there's a ledge over there. I'm going to have to jump, I think. Because we saw that. We have plenty of opportunities to take a look at that. But I'm guessing that tree is going to help us out as well. So, whoop! There we go. And we land. I don't know why there's this lower ledge. Is this just a safety? Seems like it. Could actually grapple to this as well, but... Okay, let's just go up further. And there's another grapple point over there. So if I'm just standing still and grapple to it. Uh, then the tree. There we go. And this one. And we're at the cave. Now we don't know what is actually here. There's plenty of people that has pointed us in this direction. Oh, and there's Black Hat. There's Black Hat. Let's talk to him again. Well, well. If it isn't old Chuckles. Old Chuckles. Did you take care of your business? That I did. All thanks to you. Whose grave is this? This? <laughs> it's, uh... It belongs to my kid. I see. After the little runt passed away... All the grunt work I used to do just didn't cut it. Experiments with rejuvenation, kidnapping, responsibilities of a black hat, everything to do with this temple was just rubbing me the wrong way. So that's why you quit. <sighs> that's right. Anyway, that about wraps things up here for me. Guess I've got nothing else to do but head back to Ashina Castle. Be a damn sight better than this place. Okay, can we talk to him again? Well... That takes care of my business here. I owe you one. I guess it's about time I headed back to Ashina Castle. Oh, by the way. Oh. You probably figured already, but Ashina, you know, she reeks of charred corpses and gunpowder. Something fierce. The rats are flooding in like you wouldn't believe. Hmm. You watch yourself out there. Okay. Thank you for the advice, I suppose. Thought I was going to get something, but... Well, I guess... Oh, you probably the rat. You what? Okay, so his dialogue is starting to cycle, which is usually a sign that we're done with him, but... I mean, he kind of confirmed what we thought already, so... These uh, rat assassins were used by the Senpao monks to kidnap families. Um, and they didn't have any use for the parents, of course. We know that from the divine child we found in the back of the temple. And the parents were the corpses we saw strewn around everywhere. Because, yeah, they just bound them and then killed them off. And then the children they experimented on to make another divine child of rejuvenation. Of which they eventually managed to create just one. So let's commune with this sculptor's idol. And I'm actually going to try... So I'm going to rest to refill our spirit emblems. Because we used it quite a bit to uh, get that ninjutsu going. But if you go to travel, what is this place called? The Sunken Valley Cavern, so nothing new just yet. There's a few more places I haven't been to yet, but while we're here, might as well drop down, I suppose. There we go, our first item, Miba Balloon of Spirit, nothing spectacular. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna have to deal with that snake again. Does this go down? Is that, is that a platform? Kinda looks like it. Sunken Valley Passage. This way seems to be blocked off, so it's definitely over here. And there's one big beam. Okay. Now what? This is... this can't have been for nothing, can it? Okay. Another fancy bridge. But... Um, 
I don't know where to go from here. What the actual fuck? I feel like there's water underneath us. But I don't know if a shinobi will survive that. Um, take the plunge, I guess? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, oh, no. It kind of let me go at a certain point, so maybe I need to just run it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I jumped. I jumped. That was the noise of two enemies seeing me, by the way. So, let's try that again. At the end, jump! Still nothing. And again, an enemy saw us, but... Maybe it's just over here, but then I don't see how we get to the bridge. This is weird. So, I have no idea what to do here. I feel like we're missing something. There's definitely something there, but I'm not out of ideas yet. So this is, this is for now, something we need to keep in mind. We also have a uh, sculptor's idol here, so... Uh, Black Hat, do you have any idea? No, he doesn't. He doesn't, okay. So that means I'm gonna head towards... Back towards the entrance of the sunken valley. Because there's something over there that I want to check out. Because there's a little side area. I think it was over here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. It was over here. Because this was the first time we fought these dudes. Yeah, that place. That place. I wanted to go to that place. Uh, so jump and then go along that ledge again because the last time we've been there there wasn't really anything to do we found a few items but uh, there was like a few shrines but most importantly there was also a pool of water and right now we have the swimming and diving ability so we can actually do something here just gonna sit down because I know there's another enemy over here there's actually oh what the hell what the fuck uh... what the hell is going on okay I, 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 I. don't get surrounded don't get surrounded once there's one less I will be able to there we go Take care of that. Get both of them in front of me. Oh wow, he killed me. Wait, was my health that low? That was weird. Oh god. He's almost dead. There we go. Killed him with butterflies. Come on, buddy. Mano e mano. Let's do it in the old ways of the samurai again. There we go. So the three phantoms down. And we get our second skill point. They didn't drop a single thing. I don't know why these guys were here now. Maybe because I have the ability to swim now. Okay, so this was a pool of water I was talking about. Oh. There's definitely stuff here. As in a giant pit. So let's just go down deeper. And see what is here. Because this is... We're almost doing a Tomb, Ga Tomb Raider game right now. Swimming. And going inside the mountain. Going up towards the green light. And we get that weird twinkly noise again. Every time we enter some sort of cave we actually get... That sound, which is, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's a headless. I don't like headless people. I still don't know how to deal with that. I have 
some tools at my disposal now, but I still don't know how to really deal with that. No, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, so the smoke. I don't know if I need the umbrella for this. Oh, gold. Oh, the smoke is actually emanating from him. Wait a second. What does that bell actually do? Does that get rid of the... No, it doesn't. Okay, so I need to get out of the smoke. So for some reason, I still can't deal with that smoke. Just gonna get the item. Lump of Grave Wax. And then this. Divine Grass. Okay, so the Headless kind of lost interest. I don't know how to deal with these guys. Because I need a way to dispel the fog. Divine Abduction, maybe? Gathers and releases a gust of wind. Well, we'll see about this. And I'm dead. I don't even know what happened. That didn't do anything. Holy crap. Snap seeds don't do anything. And the wind doesn't do anything. So I think I'm going to go into the water again. I mean... There's nothing I can do, right? Because this guy is almost immortal. I don't have any idea how to deal with these guys. And that was my other thought. So let's just go down again. We know that he's here now. We know the location of three more headless, actually. Um, but before I know how to deal with those, I'm not going to even try. Because I tried a few things. Now I tried the abduction thing. I tried... I haven't tried Mist Ravens yet, but I'm out of health and I'm gonna... I just healed the Dragon Rod, so I don't want to do that again now. So let's head back. So next up, we're back at the Gun Fort. We got a key that opens up a door in the Gun Fort. So the only door that I'm aware of that we couldn't really open was this one, I think. There we go. Gun Fort Shrine Key used. So that means we can move... Oh! Oh! That is the bridge. Sunken Valley Passage, we're here again. So now, so there's... Oh, I hear the snake. I hear the snake, so maybe that's it. Maybe I needed to go over here first. Yeah, because that's definitely the snake. So that we trigger the snake. I'm going to have to be, um... Oh, God. Yeah. So now it's over there. Oh. Oh. I don't think I'll be... Oh, that was not... That was not what I wanted to do. Dive! Oh god! Hi! So, but we can dive. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that. Kind of fell down. I'm gonna gather up the items while we're here now then. Oh god. Crazy fishes. Has the snake moved back? He hasn't. I think I killed the snakes just by being close to them. Uh, the, the fishes. I'm confusing fishes and snakes. Let me get more sugar. Can I actually hit that snake? I can hit it. It's not really doing much. It doesn't seem to care. Can I actually hit it from here? Oh god! Jesus Christ. Okay, so it went back now, so that's good. 
Because I think I'm not gonna go. Oh, wait, why the hell is it there now? There's another treasure carp here and another item. More sugar and a crazy snake. And another treasure carp scale. So now we're here. And there's another sculpt inside. Oh! Bye bye. So wait a second. If I now use the sculptor's idol. This is looking lush, by the way. Really, really colorful all of a sudden. So let's travel to the Sunken Valley Cavern. So we're back here. Now, if we go down. Now the snake is supposed to be there, right? There it is. There it is. I didn't mean for this to all be so perfectly lined up in this episode, but here we go! Geronimo! Blamo! Riding the snake down! Do we need another one? Oh! Holy crap! The Fresh Serpent Viscera. There we go, Great Serpent down. Ah, oh, the Fresh Serpent. So it looks like a persimmon, like heart of a Great Serpent. How did you even get the heart? The Great Serpent is considered to be a god of the land and the heart is believed to be where one spirit resides. While its shape bears similarity to a persimmon, in fact this is the Red Viscera of a gold. It is safe to assume that eating it would be poisonous to one's health. Is that one of the main items we needed? Look at that blood all over our face. I don't know why it's cut off at the face there, but... That also brings us to the other side of the bridge. Which is probably the only way to get to the other side of the bridge. Let's get that item. Don't want to drop down now, because there's another cave here. We killed the snake. la di da di da da so you need some questing, by the way, to actually do that. And then we get another dragon blood droplet. And a bundled Jizu statue. Right next to this praying monk. Okay. And that's basically it, I think, because there weren't any other parts around here. Unless I missed any. I don't know why there's trees in the water over there, but that looks a bit weird from a distance. Okay, so that means I should probably go back into the water because we know what's on this side of the bridge. I know what's on the other side of the bridge. Ow. Might as well stay underwater because I apparently missed another item over there. And that's a bulging coin purse. Don't mind if I do, don't mind if I do. Doesn't seem to be anything else in the water, so... Uh, what the hell is this place? So... Now, we're gonna go further in this area, which looks like a really lush green jungle type of area. Just gonna rest. We also have a lot of money, by the way. So I should keep that in mind. That if I come across... Okay, there's more... Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Got it. We need to go up. There we go. Like this. I'll pick up that. More adamantite scrap. I think I actually have enough to purchase some more upgrades. Because I got a bit of scrap iron from the normal enemies. Which I think I can actually farm. If I want to. Gotta be careful not to have too much of... Well, too much tunnel vision. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Oh, whoa! Ooh, that was in the mouth. That was horrible. Um, monkeys. Uh, so this is the realm of the monkeys, I suppose. Wanna kill the monkey? Ow. Ow. Jesus. Bye, monkey. I feel like I'm actually getting more and more... Um, we're more health back from that one ability. So 
So where's the gunner now? He's over there. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of monkeys. How am I going to deal with that? I mean, I know I have certain far-reaching abilities. This goes far, by the way. So there's a way to go down here with more monkeys. Ow! There we go. And kill those ones. And then gather up some items. Contact medicine. Is this a night jar? There we go. That's one down. And then the other one. Where did the flag? Down he goes. Black gunpowder and more scrap magnetite, so. And there's this whole bunch of monkeys, but I probably should go from up above. I think if I just slowly sneak around, might be able to get the drop on them. Um, and I think I should probably go for the whirlwind slash. So, if I jump down... Why am I doing? Why is he not doing it? I'm doing the whirlwind slash. Ow, 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 ow. Let's just go from one to the next. The frame rate is going to hell. But I'm getting my health back. I think there's not many left now. This one is left. Well, that was a massacre. Monkey booze. Alcohol created by dew pooled in a hollow tree. We found that before, but now we have multiple people that we can give booze to, actually, so... Just keep that in mind. I'm gonna get the Ishimonji back as my ability as well. And more scrap iron. That will definitely give us enough to purchase some more skills. Now, what else is here? There's more items down here. And I need to be careful with. Because I don't want to miss anything. There we go. So, there are a lot of night chars here. Which is interesting. Don't know why they're here. Because I thought they were just exclusively protectors of uh, Genichiro. Like they're working with Genichiro. There's definitely more stuff around here. Ooh, we can go all the way down. But I feel like we're moving forward. Using the grappling hook heavily. And there is a sculptor's idol over there. Can I go on top of this? I can. And then over there. So, with this sculptor's idol, I'm gonna... Ooh. Hello. Ah, fruits of the serpent, yes. There are two kinds. One is fresh. The other is dried. Over there. The dried fruit is over there. Past the poison swamp. Down the nest. That's where you'll find it. What are you talking about? Dried fruit? Eh? 
Something troubling you? Rice for me. That's the way. Rice, I say. If something's not right, bless me with rice any time. Okay. We're continuing the loop. Have any rice? Rice from the divine child. I will have in a minute. What is she talking about? So the dried fruit. So we got the fresh one. That's the heart. But what does she mean with the dried fruit? I feel like this is also... Ooh, look at those statues, by the way. This is like a boss-type arena. So I'm going to do a few other things first. So let's rest at it. Um, I could acquire skills, but not necessary for now, I think. So let's travel to the sculptor's idol for uh, the sculptor just the sculptor so first the sculptor the time of day is definitely progressing because this is starting to look weird as well so let's first check out the sculptor to see what he can do so gonna go for the double divine abduction first so can be waved twice in succession not using that per se but it allows me to move further in the tree. And then I'm gonna buy the loaded umbrella magnet. Has a tempered magnetic shaft that makes it nearly unbreakable. Enemy attacks can be deflected by spinning the open umbrella. So let's do that. That spends all of our, well, most of our money and most of our, well, all of our iron as well. So that is interesting to say the least. Uh, we can go for the special flame vent after this and the phoenix lilac umbrella as well. Just need a bit more iron after that. So that's it for prosthetic tool upgrades. Might as well equip those now as well. So the load umbrella magnet. Uh, the vine abduction can actually go away for now. I just want to see what I should use in the meantime. I think the Sabi Maru is going to come in handy. So I kind of forgot about this when we were fighting the... Uh, Snake-eyed women, so the gun, the gun women, because they were actually women, because uh, it's apparently more effective against them. So back at the divine child, we'll get some more rice from her. You are... So we're welcome here. Shinobi. This time the rice grew well. Now hold out your hand. Please. Bless us with bountiful harvest. And there we get more rice. I thank you. Rice is very precious. Please come again, should you want for more. Okay, thank you. Farewell, Shinobi of the Divine Air. Goodbye. May the I'm just using that rice to feed an old lady for some reason, so uh, let's head back to her. And we're actually at Bodhisattva Valley. Bodhisattva? Bodhisattva? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Bodhisattva? So back at that lovely statue. Now, let's talk to her again. So, the dried fruit is over there. Let's give her the rice. No doubt, this is the divine child's rice. Oh, thank heavens, thank heavens. Tell me what you see. Mm. Munch, 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 munch. If it's dried fruit you're after, <sighs> become the trainer of monkeys. Make the monkey dance. Um, and eaten by what? Because if it's the snake, I kind of, I kind of killed the snake. So I might have made a mistake there. Make the monkey dance and he'll be eaten. Um, I'm not going to head down there in this episode. Because I feel like it's going to be a boss fight. Yeah, oh wow. I'm completely blind. There's a giant monkey over there. That's definitely going to be a, mo a boss fight. So... That's interesting that you can see him beforehand. Um, the only thing I want to do is actually go back to Ashina Castle and talk to Black Hat Badger there. Okay, so Black Hat Badger is not where he was before. Which makes this interesting. Because I don't know where to go then for him. So, you know what? Since I don't know where he is, 
Might as well take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And uh, see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye.